Hello dear fans. What determines the number of hours in a day? There are 24 hours in a day, everyone knows this since childhood. Meanwhile, the question of the duration of even an earthly day is not as simple as it might seem at first glance, and there is a day not only on earth. This concept originated in antiquity. The length of the day was beyond doubt, which even found expression in the proverb, day and night, day away. The time taken as the beginning of the day varied from people to people and from era to era. Now the end of the previous day and the beginning of the next is considered to be midnight. In ancient Egypt, the day was counted from dawn to dawn, in the ancient Jews, from evening to evening, now this count is preserved in the Orthodox Church. Day on Earth The development of science has clarified the concept of a day, the time during which a planet makes a complete revolution around its axis. This movement is determined by the position of the luminaries in the firmament. In astronomy, the day is counted from the intersection of the meridian by the luminary. This intersection is called the upper culmination, and the Greenwich meridian is traditionally taken as the starting point. What matters is the intersection of the meridian by the center of the visible solar disk, this is called the true sun, the middle sun, an imaginary point that, during a tropical year, makes a full revolution around the vernal equinox, moving evenly along the equator, and the vernal equinox or a certain star. In the first case, they talk about true solar days, in the second about average solar days, in the third about stellar days. The duration of a sidereal day differs from the duration of a solar day. The Earth not only revolves around its axis, it also moves around the Sun. For the Sun to appear in the sky, the Earth has to make a little more than a complete revolution around its axis. Therefore, the duration of a solar day used in everyday life is 24 hours, and a sidereal, 23 hours 56 minutes 4 seconds. This period of time is taken into account when solving astronomical problems. The duration of a true solar day constantly fluctuates due to the uneven movement of the Earth in its orbit, therefore, for convenience, the time counting is based on the average solar day, the duration of which is 24 hours. Day on other objects of the solar system Even more striking phenomena concerning the length of the day can be observed on other planets and satellites. As for the latter, it is not only the rotation around its axis and movement around the Sun that matters but also the rotation around its planet and the tilt of the axis. For example, on the Moon, the average solar day lasts 29 days 44 minutes 2, 82 seconds, and the deviation of the true solar day from this indicator can reach 13 hours. In addition to the Moon, Phobos, Deimos, and Charon, all satellites in the solar system revolve around the giant planets. The gravity of these colossal planets slows down the rotation of the satellites, therefore, for most of them, the day turns out to be equal to the period of revolution around the planet. But there is one celestial body that stands out from the general picture, Hyperion, one of the satellites of Saturn. Due to orbital resonance with another satellite, Titan, its speed of rotation is constantly changing. One day on Hyperion may differ from others by several tens of percent. Among the planets in terms of the length of the day, Mars is closest to the Earth, a Martian day lasts 24 hours 39 minutes 35, 244 seconds. Venus and Jupiter can be considered record holders in terms of the length of the day. On Venus, the day is the longest 116 Earth days, and on Jupiter, the shortest, just under 10 hours. However, in relation to Jupiter and other gas giants, the length of the day is only spoken of as an average. The substance that makes up the gas ball rotates at different speeds at different geographic latitudes. For example, the exact length of the day at the equator of Jupiter is 9 hours 50 minutes 30 seconds, and at the poles 1 second less. Thanks for watching.